What's up guys, welcome to your 24th Android app development tutorial. This is again Shrex from SmartHerd. Now this tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial and I will show you the codes how the activity lifecycle works in the Eclipse, right? Now let's jump onto our Eclipse. Here in the Eclipse I have created a project activity underscore lifecycle, right? Inside the project I am having two activities, activity A and B as we discussed in the previous tutorial in the slides, right? And I have given the package name as shrakes.activity underscore lifecycle. Doesn't matter, right? Now, in activity main.xml, I am having the layout. On the click of this button, we will move to the activity B with the help of what? Explicit intents, right? So, I have initialized the button here, right? Now, let us set the button on click listener, right? right now let us use our intents class right because we are moving from activity a to activity b so i have defined the intents like this right now here just import the function now let us override all those methods that we discussed in the previous tutorial right now after on create if you remember on start is executed so let's type on start control space right here we go after that on resume right after that on pause right on stop then on destroy at the end just type on restart now it is not necessary that you override all these methods in this sequence only you can randomly use this method wherever you want the sequence do not matters right now let us put the log statement here first put the log statement in the on create right similarly put this log statement inside all the methods so that we can know which methods are getting executed right so in the activity a i have put this log statement in each and every method right under the on start activity a then under the message on start then similarly activity a on resume on pause and so on till the on restart and on destroy method right now let's do one thing let's copy all these methods right and paste it in the activity b also because we need to study the activity life cycle of b also how the things are going on right now let's change it to b right now we are good to go i have also also declared this activity b inside our manifest file like i showed you during my previous tutorials activity b right now let's run our application let's zoom our log cat right now inside the log cat i am creating a log filter right now this time i am using the application name to filter out the output of the log cat let's write our package name Let's give the filter name activity lifecycle filter. Now, here we can see our log cat because our app is now running. Right now, this is our activity A. Now, when it is started, on create is executed, then on start, then on resume is executed. Inside our on create, we are initializing all our variables and widgets. And after that, on start is executed, then suddenly, when on resume is executed, then your activity A becomes visible. Right now, let us move to activity B. Now, when we move to activity B, then in inside activity A, on pause is executed, then in activity B, on start is executed, then inside activity B, on resume is executed. Now, as soon as the activity B, on resume is executed, in activity A, on stop is executed. So, activity A gets invisible or disappears, but it is not yet destroyed, right? Now, now let us hit this back button right and let's check what's going on right when we hit the back button then inside the activity b on pause is executed right now again inside activity b on restart is executed then again on start is executed now after that on resume is executed so activity a gets visible and starts running and simultaneously activity b on stop is executed then finally activity b is destroyed right now at present activity a is visible in front of you 
right now what happens when we again hit the back button right now let's hit our back button in that case on pause inactivity a is executed then on stop inactivity a is executed then after that on destroy inactivity a is executed right now this is the space that got free when your application shuts down right so as of now our concern is the activity life cycle so please relate all these data all these logcat output with the previous slides that we discussed this was the slide that we discussed in the previous tutorial so please try to correlate the codes that we discussed just now with the previous tutorial that is this slides so hope the things are clear guys hope you got something out of it thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel this is shrek from smartherd signing off please comment on my video like my video and do share my video thank you and have a good day